Speaking to Canville owner manager Brad Wellman following our 1 0 defeat against Stone Market Town. Brad, our third consecutive 1 0 home defeat. What did you make of that one? Yeah, frustrating. Uh, I think, first and foremost, I think that, um, you know, we we certainly was, I think we was a better team in the first half. Um, I think they, they, were, they were well organised, though. They were a good team. They caused us certain issues. But I think overall, they didn't, didn't test Bobby Mason too much. Um, in the first half, we come in at nil nil and felt that we could we could go and really sort of open up in the second half and and start getting our strengths out. I think we were technically poor in the first half. I think there was a lot of stray passes and miscontrols going, which are not usually in our game. But you know that, that happens and we regroup to half time and then two minutes into the second half, we get the advantage of them going down to ten men. Now you know they're going to pack it in, which which they did and they gave us a lot of the ball and we moved it. Uh, side to side, maybe not quick enough, but give away a silly goal. I mean, for me, it's a it's a poor goal to give away uh, defensively, and then it makes it even harder. You got 20 minutes of trying to get back in the game, and they're just dropping deeper and deeper and deeper. So it's a <coughs> excuse me, it's a tough one to take. But listen, we said it last week. Teams are going to come here and sit in, and we've got to be we've got to be able to unlock them. From from where I was, it felt as though I think our first and only shot of the uh, maybe a couple of shots on target in the match. Maybe coming injury time in the second half from memory. I think Matt Price had a, a shot and turn and a header from Ode Martin. Um, that feels like it's a bit of trend in recent matches that we're considering we were scoring fours and fives and sixes, albeit against lesser teams not so long ago. It now feels as though we're struggling to to really test opposition goalkeepers. Yeah, I think I think um, I think we created some good opportunities in the first half. Um, I mean, Evans quasi goes clear on goal, which he's been scoring all year. Um, and he blasts it over the bar, you know. Um, it's, we, we've taken shots from this. It's not like we've turned shots down. I think the quality of shots on target, yeah, late in the game, 100%. But I don't think it's a case of us not taking shots on. I think the concern for me is more that we're not creating the opportunities as freely as we were. Um, we're still creating opportunities, but we're we're not creating as many. But also, we're not as clinical in front of goal, and I think that's the that's the big difference. Is that in previous games, you know, when we, when we was winning four five nil, we may have only created four or five chances, but we're scoring them goals, and we was clinical. And I think we need to get back to that that way. Um, it's, I mean, not. Just being honest, you know, not not using it as an excuse. You know, we've had a lot of sickness in the camp the last few weeks. Quasi could only get through. Well, really, again, I said it last week about one of the boys. He probably shouldn't have played today, but he's got through 55 minutes and he's had to go off. He's just got no energy. So, you know, it's um, maybe they're not firing because because of them reasons. But listen, we'll, we'll get back. We've got we've got a, a, a long week of training. The difficult part with this this loss last week is. We played the senior cup game on Wednesday. We didn't have a chance to train this week. So we get two solid training sessions in us now, going into Felixstowe next week. We can put things right on the training ground and be ready to go. I would imagine that the confidence has taken a bit of a knock recently, having had been so long uh, without losing in the league, then to lose back-to-back -back games. Uh, how is the, the atmosphere and the confidence in the changing room from your point of view? The yeah, boys are down, but you want that. If, if, if you're getting beat, you want the boys to be disappointed. I mean, we we stand in the change. You just have to hear the reaction of the other teams that are beating us. They're they're live and loud, and and we've got to take that. We've got to puff our chests out and take that on the chin. You know, like we say, is that when we were winning 12 games on a spin, everything was rosy. But we've still got the confidence. But you know, he's he's being knocked. But I don't think it's knocking us down. I think that it's once we get an opportunity to get back into training and, and get things right, I think you'll see a different animal. We've we've had a lot of football lately, a lot of lot of tough games and. You know, we've got to get things right and, and hopefully we can stop the slide next week um, and then kick us on for Christmas. Thanks, Brad. Cheers, Glenn. Thank you.